It's Matty Crayon time! <laughs> Airplane Museum, part one. Hi everybody, we are at the South Australian Aviation Museum. Can you see that? It says Aviation Museum. Wow, those are big words. What is aviation? Yeah, aviation is things that fly. Yeah, aeroplanes, helicopters, that's aviation. And what is a museum? Yeah, you're correct. A museum is a place where you can see things that are very important and we want to keep them for people to see in the future. So this one is an aviation museum. Do you want to see this museum? Let's go and look. We're inside the aviation museum. Can you see lots of aeroplanes? What aeroplane do you like? Hmm. I wonder which one I like. I like this one. I like this one. No, I like this one. I like them all. Museums help to preserve and restore. Oh, those are big words. Preserve, restore. What does that mean? Preserve means to keep something the way it was or the way it is. We help to keep it like it was or like it is to show people in the future. So you can come here and you can see what the planes used to look like and restore. What's restore? Restore means to make it like it was. Yeah, so we can restore an aeroplane. Look, this aeroplane is being restored. You can see all of the metal has been taken off and the nose has been taken off and they're going to restore the aeroplane. When they're finished, it will look brand new. That's called restoring. Look at this. It's an engine with a big propeller. It's the first engine made in Australia for aeroplanes. Yeah. And the propeller turns around and round and round. Do you want to make the propeller turn around and round and round? Hey Maddie, can you turn the engine on? I'll turn the engine on. Well, good job Maddie. Look. The engine's turning. It's going around and around and around. Whoa, this is a very old aeroplane. It's called a Canberra. Canberra, can you say that? Canberra, yeah. It was made in 1955 and it flew with the Royal Australian Air Force. This one can fly as fast as 840 kilometers per hour. Yeah and it can go as far as 5,000 kilometers. That's a long way. And it can fly very high. It can fly as high as 60,000 feet. That's a long way up in the air. It's very old. It's older than Maddie Crayon. Yeah. Look at this aeroplane. This is one of three Canberras still flying. They fly in America and they fly for NASA. Whoa, this is the nose of the Canberra bomber. Look, it's clear. You can see through it. Yeah, the reason for this is there was a person inside and he could look out and he could tell where they were going to bomb things and things like that. And that's what this was for. And the crew member could see all out in front of them. Well, can you imagine sitting in the front of the aeroplane right at the nose? It's a clear nose on the Canberra bomber. And what's this? <laughs> it's called a hatch. A hatch. Can you say that? Hatch. This is where the crew got inside the aeroplane. You would open it up here and you could get inside the aeroplane. Do you want to open the hatch? Yeah, let's open the hatch. We pull this down and then we pull the hatch open. It swings up. Wow, look at that. And then we put this here 
<laughs> the hatch is open and you can get into the aeroplane. Do you want to see inside the aeroplane? Let's look. Wow, look, the hatch is open and you can see inside the aeroplane. This is where the pilot flies the aeroplane. It's called the cockpit. Can you see this? That's the pilot's seat. Whoa, this is a very cool aeroplane. It's called an F-111. F-111. It was made in 1964. Yeah, that's when it first flew. It's older than Maddie Crayon again. But it looks very fast, doesn't it? And guess what? It has a nickname. It's called an aardvark. Yeah, can you say that? Aardvark. <laughs> what is an aardvark? An aardvark is an animal like this. Yeah, an aardvark has a long nose. And look, the F-111 has a long nose. So that's why they called it an aardvark. The F-111 is very fast. It can fly as fast as Mach 2.4. Whoa, what is Mach? Mach 1 is the speed of sound. How fast is the speed of sound? It's very fast. It's about 1,235 kilometers per hour. And this can fly twice as fast as that. Wow, that's very fast. It's called the F-111. The F-111 has swept wings. That means the wings go back like this. So when it's going slow, the wings are here. And when it's going fast, the wings are here. Yeah, that's what's called a swept wing aircraft. The wings move. Do you want to have a look? Let's have a look. Can you see the wings? They're very big. The wings are swept back. Yeah, they're swept back. This is when it's going very fast and the wings are back so it can go fast through the air. The F-111 is a bomber. It carries bombs. Look, you can see a bomb here. The F-111 had two engines. This is the exhausts for the engines. The engine's exhaust would come out here and it would move the aeroplane forwards very fast. And look, do you know what this is? <laughs> this is where they could dump fuel. Ooh, what does that mean, dump fuel? Sometimes they needed to throw away the fuel. This is where the fuel would come out. And because the engines are so hot, the fuel would burn. So they called it a dump and burn. Yeah, a dump and burn. This is the air intake for the engines. Yeah, there's two of them, one on each side. It's called the air intake. The air comes in here and then it's mixed with fuel and it burns and goes out the back and pushes the aeroplane forward. This is the front of the F-111. Look, it has a very pointy nose. The pointy nose helps it go through the air and cut through the air very fast. Yeah, it's a F-111 nose. At the top, you can see that's where the cockpit is. The cockpit, cockpit is where the pilots sit. They sit side by side, one here and one here at the top in the cockpit. Oh, the F-111 knows. Whoa, look at this aeroplane. It's very big and it's very old. It's called the Douglas C-47. This is the engine of the C-47. It's very big. It's called a radial engine. Yeah, can you say that? Radial engine. Why is it called a radial engine? And that's because the cylinders are around the outside. Yeah, they're around the outside of the engine. And the cylinders go up and down like this. And they move the propeller around. So that's a radial engine on the C-47. Cool. Hey, look at this. This is the wheel of the C-47. And the wheel is on the landing gear. Yeah, this is the landing gear. 
The landing gear helps the aeroplane land safely on the runway. When they are flying, the landing gear goes up into the wheel well. Yeah, and this is the wheel well. This is where the landing gear goes when the aeroplane is flying. It's very big. You can see the wheel goes all the way up into here. Oh no, look at this. This is a propeller from the C-47. It's bent. Can you see that? It's bent. I think what happened, the aeroplane was landing and the landing gear didn't work. So the propeller hit the ground when it was spinning and it bent the propeller. It's a bent propeller. We're inside the C-47 and this is where the navigator sat. Can you say that? Navigator. What's a navigator? A navigator is a person who showed the pilots where to go. Look, he's got maps here and he has all these tools for drawing lines and measuring distances. This is where the navigator sat. The navigator. Do you want to have a look where the pilot sat? Let's look where the pilot sat. Hey, look, this is where the pilot sat. And here is where the co-pilot sat. Yeah, this is where they fly the airplane. Look, these are the control columns. You can go up, you can go down, left and right. And these are the engine controls. This one controlled the engines on both sides. This one is a compass. It helps the pilot know where he is going. This one is also a compass. Up here, you can see lots of buttons as well. So the pilot would fly the aeroplane from here. Do you want to fly a C-47? Yeah, let's fly a C-47. Whoa, it's cool. Hi everybody. That was fun. Did you like looking at all of the aeroplanes here at the South Australian Aviation Museum? Yeah, you can come here. And if you're small, you can get into one of these and ride around and look at all of the aeroplanes here at the South Australian Aviation Museum. Come along someday. It's really fun. Goodbye. Take crayons.